Good evening. We are with well, Justo Gonzalez, pastor of here in Grand Rapids. We are in an apartment lounge in Grand Rapids. Uh, what's going on tonight, uh, uh, Justo, Pastor Justo Gonzalez? Tragically, tonight is the third anniversary of the Pulse Orlando attack particularly those of us who are Latino, Latina backgrounds, it was a sacred and holy night for us, for Latino night and LGBTQ communities. Oftentimes our families reject us, don't embrace us. We find family and create new families and communities when we are able to dance and celebrate and get to know each other. So not only was the attack on attack on LGBTQ peoples, primarily Latinx men and women, but also on us as Latino people, our dignity, our worth, and our value. Prior to the Pulse Orlando in 2016, I could pretend that no one wanted to kill me simply because of who I am and my orientation. That delusional fantasy went away on June the 12th, 2016. This attack was an attack upon Latinos, people of color, our white allies, our lovers, our significant ones. It was an attack on us and our dignity matters. So tonight we remember the 49 who were killed. Particularly for me, it is impactful because I lived in Orlando and have many friends. I've danced at the Pulse Dance Club. I can tell you where the dance floor is, where the bar is, where the coat room is. And so tonight we remember and we celebrate 49 sacred lives killed because of hate, discrimination, and a desire to do away with LGBT folks when we are your brothers and sisters, we are your parents, your uncles, your aunts, your grandparents, and our lives matter like everyone else's. What about what about the you know the, the weapons the out of control weapons all over the country like people with these uh, high power weapons to kill people? Right? The murderer had access to a AK-15 and was able to kill many people. We need to get rid of them. We need to get rid of guns. We need to regulate these things. Thank you very much, Pastor. Good night. This is Pablo Bello for Gunner Christian Martino.